Hi, this is Mark at LeagueAthletics.com, and we're going to show you how to set up the ArbiterSports.com integration with your website here. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is go over to your Arbiter account, get logged in, and grab your group ID in the top right corner here and copy that. We're going to need to uh, insert that into the website. And once you have that, we're going to go to the admin section, then we're going to go to configuration and then uh, general settings here. And then in the general settings, we're going to scroll down in the Arbiter group ID area. We're going to plug that in. Uh, make sure for now this sync uh, checkbox is unchecked and then we're going to go to the bottom and we'll click uh, submit to save. So the next thing we need to do is we need to hook up our facilities, our divisions, and our teams to our Arbiter account. So when you set up an Arbiter account you're going to have to enter those things, sites, levels, and teams uh, on their side. And then what you're going to do in League Athletics is essentially connect your League Athletics entities to your Arbiter entities. Now, if you're connecting to an existing Arbiter account, um, it's probably already done or been done for you, so um, you don't have to worry about entering that in the Arbiter side. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Edit Facilities, and this is going to give us a list of all of our fields and facilities that we have, and we'll click the Edit button on the right here for the first one. And you're going to have to do this for each facility, uh, but once it's done, you won't have to do it again. Then you're going to scroll down to the bottom here. You're going to find where it says Link to Arbiter, and it'll have that ID filled in already for you that you entered in the uh, configuration area. And once you've got that filled in, we're just going to click this Search button, and it's going to search Arbiter and return a list of all of those different facilities that are in your Arbiter account. And we'll just find the one we want to link to, and we'll click on that, and then it'll show it as linked here, and we'll just click Submit to Save. Uh, for example, if this was a uh, different facility uh, in Arbiter, I would click on that. It would show me a list. I would click on that um, that item in that list there, and then, then it would uh, change here, and I could submit to save that one. So let's do it for field one here. That changes. I'll click submit, and now this field in my website here is hooked up to that field in Arbiter. So anytime I schedule an event on this facility in my website, it's actually going to show up as field one in Arbiter on the correct field on their side. Uh, but typically you want to match it up, It'll, they'll usually have the same name. So the next thing we need to do are the divisions and teams. That can be found in the teams area, uh, divisions and teams option, and then this is going to list out our divisions and teams in our website, and we'll just click on boys 910 here. And this is going to have the same type of setup. It's going to say link to Arbiter. We'll just click on the uh, button here. It'll give us a list of all of the different uh, levels or divisions that are in the Arbiter account. We're just going to select uh, you know, the correct one here, so let's find boys 910, and uh, it displays there, and we just submit to save that. And then we're going to do the exact same thing uh, for all of our teams that we have. So for now, I'll click on this one. I'll find the link to Arbiter option. I'll do a quick search, and let's find uh, the Jarrettsburg team, Jarrettsburg 910 uh, lacrosse, and we'll submit to save. So now this website is ready to go. So there's two ways to sync games up with Arbiter. Uh, the first one being going back to the general settings area. Now we can go ahead and highlight the sync schedule with Arbiter option. Uh, click submit. What that'll do is uh, take all of the games that are currently in your uh, website and that'll send them all over to your Arbiter account with those settings uh, that you just uh, set up, that you just connected. Uh, the other way is to just simply create games. So if we go to scheduling, add game, or practice, we can add games one by one, uh, or you could even import games, I suppose, with a, uh, with a spreadsheet. And when those games are created, they're going to automatically be sent over to your Arbiter account with those uh, settings uh, that we just connected. Uh, I'm Mark at LeagueAthletics.com. Hope this Arbiter integration makes it a little bit easier for you.